If you wake at midnight and hear a horse's feet, don't go drawing back the blind or looking in the street. Them that ask no questions isn't told a lie. Watch the wall, my darling, while the gentlemen go by. Five and twenty ponies are trotting through the dark. Brandy for the parson and backy for the clerk. Laces for a lady and letters for a spy. And watch the wall, my darling, as the gentlemen go by. Running round the woodland, if you chance to find Little barrels all roped and tarred And all full of brandy wine Don't you shout to come and look Nor use them for your play Put the brushwood back again And they will be gone by the next day Five and twenty ponies Are trotting through the dark Brandy for the parson, and backy for the clerk. Laces for a lady, and letters for a spy. And watch the wall, my darling, as the gentlemen go by. If you see the stable door, which is setting open wide. If you see a tired horse, which is lying down inside. If your mother mends a coat, which is cut above and torn. If the lining's wet and warm, don't you ask no more. Five and twenty ponies are trotting through the dark. Brandy for the parson and backy for the clerk. Laces for a lady, and letters for a spy. And watch the wall, my darling, as the gentlemen go by. If you meet King George's men, who are dressed in blue and red, you be careful what you say to them, and mindful of what is said. If they call you pretty maid, and chuck you beneath the chin. Don't you tell them where no one is, nor yet where no one's been. Five and twenty ponies are trotting through the dark. Brandy for the parson, and backy for the clerk. Laces for a lady, and letters for a spy. And watch the wall, my darling, as the gentlemen go by. Knocks send footsteps round the house, and whistles after dark. You have no call for running out, until the house dogs bark. Trusty is here and Pincher too, and see how dumb they lie. They do not fret to follow, when the gentlemen go by. Five and twenty ponies are trotting through the dark. Brandy for the parson, and backy for the clerk. Laces for a lady, and letters for a spy. And watch the wall, my darling, as the gentlemen go by. Don't lift the latch or look through the crack. Or see the colour of their eyes. It is better to be found in bed Than being found an errant spy. Them that ask no questions Isn't told a lie. So watch the wall, my darling, While the gentlemen go by. Five and twenty ponies Are trotting through the dark. Brandy for the parson, and backy for the clerk, laces for a lady, and letters for a spy, and watch the wall, my darling, as the gentlemen go by. If you do as you have been told, 
it is likely there is a chance that you will be given a dainty doll all the way from France with a cap of valentines and a velvet hood and a present from the gentleman because you have been so good five and twenty ponies are trotting through the dark brandy for the parson and backy for the clerk laces for a lady and letters for a spy and watch the wall my darling as the gentlemen go by Yes, watch the wall, my darling, as the gentlemen go by. After I had recovered from my little Middle Isle Syndrome illness, I thought I would try shopping in another supermarket, so I went to Asda. Unfortunately, I then contracted Asda Hell Hole Strife, and I had a mental breakdown, so now I shop online. I decided I would try shopping at Asda, but when I went there I got a trolley with a dodgy wheel. It was taking me places that I did not want to go because I did not need Lilettes or Vagasil. At the deli counter, I got a ticket there, and it was number 55. It was like a meat and cheese-based lottery, and I was a lucky bugger to get out of there alive. I shopped at Asda, because I needed some snap for my tea. And I spent a fortune, because there was loads of buy one and get one free. On my next visit to Asda, I could not move for all the obstacles that were blocking every lane. You can't get to the shelves for the staff restacking them. It's enough to drive a bloke insane. There were kids running wild in the aisles of the shop and it makes me want to shout they were screaming mum why can't i have some sweets but what they really needed was a bloody cloud i shopped at asda and i got my quid stuck in the trolley i only went in for toilet paper but i bought a brolly at the end of my next visit to Asda, the final aisle was in sight, and I was almost home and free. And I headed for the counter, but my path was blocked by a chuff on a shop mobility. The checkout girl looked bored, and she said to me, Do you want a bag for life? I said, I have got one here already, my love and I got a right clout off my wife. I shopped at Asda, but I did not take my mum with me, because my mum shops at Iceland, because that is where mums are meant to be. On my next visit to Asda, frustration came my way, when I was at the self-service checkout, there were unexpected items in the bagging area before I started scanning out. The barcode scanner said my Toblerone was a plasma screen TV. I looked around, but no one could be found, and it was not looking good for me. One spotty kid was running 14 tills, and it took ages to sort out this farce. He said, do you need a hand with your packing, sir? And I said, you can pack your self-service up your arse. I shopped at Asda because I needed some meat for lunch, and I spent more of my money. I bought some bananas that were in a bunch. Because of all my troubles at Asda, 
I was beginning to lose my mind and to fret, but I decided to go there again one more time, to see if my troubles were in the past, and I placed with my doctor a bed. The very last time I shopped at Asda, I was sixty-seven, and I went there with my wife. But when I got out of the Asda hellhole, ten years had been added to my life. I had a mental breakdown and went back to see my doctor, and I said to him I was aging badly because of Asda shopping strife. He said, don't go back to that Asda hellhole. If you need any more shopping, just send to there your wife. Yes, if you need any more shopping there, just send to there your wife. I lit a candle for my love and wait for the wine list to appear. But in posh restaurants I discovered the missus looks across at me in fear. But the only thing I like on the menu is a bread roll with a bit of cheese. I said to the missus, this is not gonna work, because all I want is a plate of ham pie and peas. The candle at the table was lit for my love, but now my love has disappeared. The waiter was looking quite disgruntled, and I said, forget the wine list, just go and get me a beer. You can forget all that cocker van. I would sooner have some corned beef or spam. And all I really want to eat is a plate of peas and a pie made of ham. I took a gamble for my love because the odds were stacked against me here. I thought when I came out I should try to choose something different, but I will not when it looked like something queer. I would rather not eat anything from the menu of all this cordon blue, and all I really want to eat is just a plate of ham pie and peas for two. I am quite concerned as I can't read in French and what the hell is an do? And sitting opposite to us is a posh bloke who looks like he is some kind of pope. I said to the waiter, what is this crap listed here? Is this stuff on the menu just a tease? I said, voulez voo to the stuck-up waiter, just bring me a plate of ham pie and peas. This kind of place is always filled with snobby folk who are a bunch of loons and all around my plate utensils are just lined up with four forks and a range of spoons i said to the lady on the next table don't talk to me i have no time for folks who just passed around the breeches there is no chance of an order from the menu from me. All I want is just a plate of ham pie and peas. I said to the waiter, you have gone too far. Your prices are a joke. I am not one who will usually grouse. I am just an ordinary bloke. 
your menu is a pile of shite and really is a tease forget that mark as all i want is just a plate of ham pie and peas yes forget that mark as all i want is just a plate of ham pie and peas You had only just sped it up before you had to slow your car down because there is a ton of traffic and it is tailing back a mile or two from town but soon you find why when they reach the sign which says they are digging the road up so then you quickly turn your car engine off before you burn your new clutch out and then you do your nas. There is a sign which states delays are expected until the end of June. But when the end of August comes, a new sign states there is more work coming soon. You are running late already, and it is just the thing to make you scream and shout because you find the council's time has increased for digging the roads out there is just a great big hole and a broken traffic light there is one fella digging while the rest are watching him and that is just about right there is a sign which states delays are expected until the end of june but when the end of August comes, a new sign states there is more work coming soon. There is loads of fuss by motorists, but there is not a rush to finishing digging the road up. And to make the matters worse, the lazy buggers are having a break and drinking tea from a cup. When they are likely to finish making people late is anybody's guess. So now you know where your council tack goes on digging the roads up and making a mess. There is a sign which states delays are expected until the end of June. But when the end of August comes, a new sign states there is more work coming soon. You are sitting in your cars bumper to bumper, and it is Sunday and it is a farce. If only there were workmen there, you would stick them cones right up their ass. Eventually they clear it up and start to take the cones away. The digger has gone because they have finally done with digging the roads up, hip hip hooray. They put a sign up which states this sign will be removed the next day. But next day they put another sign up which states that more work is needed and will be back today. Next day they come back and tear the road up again because there is another job to be done. You would have thought that they could have done two jobs at once as it is not hard to do both in one. Yet more expense and there is no common sense and they are digging the roads up again at half past two today. But the bloke with the sign letting two go past at a time is having a break and will not be back until another day. They put a new sign up and it states delays are expected until the end of September. But when the end of October comes, a new sign states more work is needed 
and will not be completed until the end of December. He was never there when needed, and oh how much she pleaded, saying, darling, won't you stay home just one time? He would just smile and say, I'm sorry, but there's no need to worry. I'm just gonna meet some army buddies, drink some beer and fight the war. In the kitchen making wishes, as she tidies up the dishes, on another lonely weekend, and the wine she drank alone. And the nights they hold no pity, in the cold of New York City, as she waits there in the darkness, to hear his key turn in the door. Then one night he came home sober, with a longing just to hold her, when he found a note she had written, waiting by the telephone. And she said, I will always love you, and I never will forget you, but I just can't take this lonely feeling anymore. She said, I am going to California to taste the sunshine and the wine, sit beside the rolling ocean and slowly pass the time reading books and old love stories and forget about my worries and maybe who knows maybe we will meet again sometime now the nights are cold and lonely as he sits and watches tv drinking beer and chasing whiskey wondering where it all went wrong and his eyes are tired and burning from the dreams that kept returning and all his yesterdays they won't leave him alone she said i am going to california to taste the sunshine and the wine sit beside the rolling ocean and slowly pass the time reading books and old love stories and forget about my worries and maybe who knows maybe we will meet again sometime and maybe who knows maybe we will meet again sometime I don't know whether you are having the same problems on the streets of Burwell as we are having in Eastbourne, where groups of violent aliens have been invading our streets and hitting people with sticks, waving hankies and ringing bells. And the only way to calm them seems to be to play accordions and melodions. And these groups of violent aliens, who often wear painted faces to disguise their identity are called Morris Dancers. Eastbourne Council has formed two special groups in order to persuade them to stop. One group called the Virgins rush over to the male Morris Dancers and occupy them with a kiss and the other group called the Lovers rush over to the Lady Morris Dancers and also occupy them with a kiss which seems to stop them doing their violent activities. Anyway, this is a song written by Alan Dunican, Scott Dunican and Amanda White and sung by the bar steward sons of Val Dunican, who are a folk band from um, Barnsley. I sang this song during the Hastings Jack in the Green Morris dance alien invasion. 
in early May, so I amended some of the words to fit in with the festival. And the song is called Morris Dance. You can dance if you want to, stomp your clogs and wave a garland high. You can write and star your way to the bar, and your tankard will never run dry. At the Hastings Jack and Green weekend, we don't give a damn if their music don't rhyme. As your sticks ascends, just shake your bell ends, making sure you pull out on time. Morris dance, Morris dance, if you feel that way inclined. Morris dance, Morris dance, but don't leave Mad Jack of Hastings behind. Morris dance, Morris dance, get your baldricks out tonight. Morris dance, Morris dance, there is nothing wrong with men in times. Morris dance, oh yeah, Morris dance, come on, Morris dance, Morris dance. Border dance if you want to, it's a tradition and it's not a trend. It's a rare old place where a blacked up face is not there to offend. Dance with swords if you want to, and face a partner who is parallel. And when you raise your shaft, you don't feel so daft, cause the lads are raising theirs as well. Morris dance, Morris dance, if you feel that way inclined. Morris dance, Morris dance, but don't leave Mad Jack of Hastings behind. Morris dance, Morris dance, get your baldricks out tonight. Morris dance, Morris dance, there is nothing wrong with men in times. Morris dance, oh yeah, Morris dance, come on, Morris dance, Morris dance. And Morris dance, Morris dance, with an accordion or violin. Morris dance, Morris dance, hear your hankies don't go in a bin. Morris dance, Morris dance, for solstice or equinox. Take your chance, you can prance, with your kecks tucked in your socks. Morris dance, oh yeah, Morris dance, Come on, Morris dance, Morris dance. Morris dance, Morris dance, if you feel that way inclined. Morris dance, Morris dance, but don't leave Mad Jack of Hastings behind. Morris dance, Morris dance, get your baldricks out tonight. Morris dance, Morris dance, there is nothing wrong with men in times. Morris dance, oh yeah, Morris dance, come on, Morris dance, Morris dance. Pace egg if you want to, or wear a hobby horse's head. Horn dance like a stag if that's your bag, or dance like a fool instead. On May Day, if you want to, you can dance up a hill of hasting as the people stare. The size of your pole is a sight to behold when erected for the people there. Morris dance, Morris dance, if you feel that way inclined. Morris dance, Morris dance, but don't leave my jack of hastings behind. Morris dance, Morris dance, get your baldricks out tonight. Morris dance, Morris dance, there is nothing wrong with men in ties. Morris dance, oh yeah, Morris dance, come on, Morris dance, Morris dance. Yes, come on and Morris dance at Hastings. In the Green Festival. Well done. Well done, Glenn. Well done.
Oh, the night was clear, and the stars were shining. The moon came out, so quiet in the sky. The people gathered round, while the band was tuning. I can hear them now, playing coming through the rye. You were dressed in blue, and you looked so lovely. Just a gentle flower of a small town girl. You took my hand and we danced to the music with a single smile. You became my world. And we danced all night to the fiddle and the banjo. Their drifting tune seems to fill the air. So long ago, but I can still remember When we fell in love at the Roseville Fair We caught it well and we caught it dearly We'd sit for hours on the front porch swing Then a year went by since the time that I met you and I made you mine at the Roseville Fair. And we danced all night to the fiddle and the banjo. They drift in tune, seem to fill the air. So long ago, but I can still remember when we fell in love at the Roseville Fair. So here's a song for all of the lovers And here's a tune that they can share May they dance all night to the fiddle and the banjo The way they could at the Roseville Fair And we danced all night to the fiddle and the banjo Their drifting tune seems to fill the air So long ago, but I can still remember When we fell in love at the Roseville Fair Yes, when we fell in love at the Roseville Fair I took a walk along the shore To clear my mind about the day I saw a lady I had seen before But as I approached she slipped away I knew her face from years ago her smile stays with me evermore Her eyes, they guide me through the haze And bring me shelter from the storm As I walk I can feel her Always watching over me Her voice surrounds me she is my spirit of the sea She went away so long ago On a maiden voyage far away A young lady then I did not know And her life was taken that same day and it was almost like she knew She would not see me anymore She looked so deeply in my eyes and said Wait for me along the shore As I walk I can feel her Always watching over me her voice surrounds me 
She is my spirit of the sea. And so I come most every day to watch the waves rise and fall. And as I sit here on the sand, this ocean makes me feel so small. But I feel my lover by my side, and she makes me follow my own heart. We will be together some sweet day. When that day comes, we will never part. Yes, when that day comes, we will never part. Please wait for me along the shore. You get a shiver in the dark and it's raining in the park, but meantime, South of the river you stop and hold everything. A band is blowing Dixie double four time. You feel all right when you hear the music ring. They are the sultans of swing. Well now you step inside but you don't see too many faces. Coming in out of the rain to hear the jazz go down. Competition in other places. But the horns they are blowing that sound. Way on down south. Way on down south in London town. Check out Guitar George, he knows all the chords. Mind it strictly rhythm, he doesn't want to make it cry or sing. Yes, and the old guitar is all he can afford when he gets under the lights to play his thing. They are the sultans of swing. And Harry doesn't mind if he doesn't make the scene. He's got a daytime job, and he's doing all right. He can play the honky-tonk like anything, saving it up for Friday night, with the sultans, with the sultans of swing. And a crowd of young boys, they are fooling around in the corner. Drunk and dressed in their best brown baggies and their platform soles. They don't give a damn about any trumpet playing band. Because it ain't what they call rock and roll. And the Sultans, yes the Sun Sultans play Creole. And then the man, he steps right up to the microphone and says at last, just as the time bell rings, Good night, and now it's time to go home. Then he makes it fast with one more thing. We are the sultans, we are the sultans of swing. Yes, we are the sultans, we are the sultans of swing. This is a song written by Gary Rickthrath and sung by American rock band Rio Speedwagon. This song is also sung by country singer Sarah Evans to close her concerts, which is where I first heard it, and they sometimes sing it together. The song is called Take It On The Run Baby, and picture behind me is Sarah Evans and Rio Speed Wagon lead singer Kevin Cronin. The song is about a man's girlfriend who is, just likes to mess around and leave, and she is never in one place for too long. 
he says if that's how she likes it then that's how she can have it and he does not want her near him but he does not believe it take it on the run baby heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from another that you have been messing around they say you got a boyfriend you are out late every weekend they are talking about you and it's bringing me down I know the neighborhood talk is cheap when the story is good and tales grew taller on down the line but I am telling you babe that I don't think it's true babe and even if it is this keep this in mind you take it on the run baby if that's the way you want it baby then I don't want you around but I don't believe it not for a minute you are under the gun so you take it on the run you are thinking up your white lies you are putting on your bedroom eyes you say you are coming home but you won't say when i can feel it coming if you leave tonight keep running and you need never look back again you take it on the run baby if that's the way you want it baby then i don't want you around but i don't believe it not for a minute you are under the gun so you can take it on the run should have a guitar rock solo here for a couple of minutes but afraid you haven't got one from me heard it from a friend who Heard it from a friend who Heard it from another That you've been messing around They say you got a boyfriend You are late every weekend They are talking about you And it's bringing me down I know the neighborhood Talk is cheap when the story is good And tales grew taller on down the line But I'm telling you baby That I don't think it's true baby And even if it is keep this in mind You take it on the run baby if that's the way you want it baby then i don't want you around but i don't believe it not for a minute you are under the gun so you take it on the run you are thinking up your white lies you are putting on your bedroom eyes you say you are coming home but you won't say when but I can feel it coming if you leave tonight keep on running and you need never look back again take it on the run baby if that's the way you want it baby then i don't want you around but i don't believe it not for a minute you are under the gun so you take it from on a run heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from another that you have been messing around 
Yes, you have been messing around. <laughs> wow. <laughs>
Oh, the moon was shining somewhere over the sea. Oh, the moon was waiting for you to return to me. I haven't seen the day since you went away. Oh, the moon was shining somewhere over the sea. There has been no light of day since you went away. Oh, the moon was shining somewhere over the sea. Oh, the snow was falling colder than any winters I have known. Oh, the snow was falling, icicles turning to stone. Still I wish on a star, come back wherever you are. Oh, the snow was falling, colder since I have been alone. Oh, the moon was shining, somewhere over the sea oh the moon was waiting for you to return to me still i wish on a star come back wherever you are oh the snow was falling so much colder since i have been alone Oh, the stars have stopped glowing on the night that you left. Oh, the wind has stopped blowing, all I could hold was my breath. Oh, the moon was shining somewhere over the sea. Oh, the moon was waiting for you to return to me. Oh, the stars stopped glowing on the night that you left. Oh, the wind stopped blowing, all I could hold was my breath. Still I have to believe you will return to me oh the snow was falling colder than winters i had known oh the moon was shining somewhere over the sea oh the moon was waiting for you to return to me Still I have to believe you will return to me. Oh, the snow was falling, colder than winters I've known. Oh, the stars have stopped glowing as my heart turned into stone. Somewhere over the sea you will return to me. Oh, the moon was shining somewhere over the sea. Oh, the moon was waiting for you to return to me. In the early days of my childhood, I was scared of natural life upon this land, of being trapped by circumstance. So I learned to play guitar, and I formed a folk group band. We started going off to gigs to sing our folk songs, and I had a bag and gear ready and kept it on the floor. Inside my bag, I packed my clothes and guitar, and kept the bag very close to my front door. 
when we are travelling by road to our gigs, we pass gardens, mountains, seas and lakes, and we stop off at a cafe to get a cup of tea and some cakes. We then travel on by road, pass animals, trees, plants and birds, yes it is a natural world thing, and the birds fly by overhead, and they begin to sing. When we travel past lakes to our gigs by road, we have always been aware, our shows much more than tank tops, and our mops of gorgeous hair. We often sit and pinch ourselves about how far we have come. Our dads have spawned many brothers, but we all have different mums. When we are travelling by road to our gigs, we pass gardens, mountains, seas and lakes, and we stop off at a cafe to get a cup of tea and some cakes. We then travel on by road, pass animals, trees, plants and birds. Yes, it is a natural world thing. And the birds fly by overhead, and they begin to sing. We have travelled to many countries, and we have washed our feet in many seas. We have drunk with drifters in Vienna, and with punks with hair full of fleas. We have driven across deserts, driven on by the irony, that only being shackled to the road could ever we be free. When we are travelling by road to our gigs, we pass gardens, mountains, seas and lakes, and we stop off at a cafe to get a cup of tea and some cakes. We then travel on by road, pass animals, trees, plants and birds. Yes, it is a natural world thing. And the birds fly by overhead, and they begin to sing. We have travelled over mountains, to gigs in our country, simply trying to make folk laugh. We have drunk here from Glastonbury, and from Tarn to Matlock and to Bath. And we have played on a boat on Norfolk's Broad, and to Tempfolk in Glasgow. We have played Buxton Shopping Opera House, even though those twats said no. When we are travelling by road to our gigs, we pass gardens, mountains, seas and lakes, and we stop off at a cafe to get a cup of tea and some cakes. We then travel on by road, pass animals, trees, plants and birds. Yes, it is a natural world thing. And the birds fly by overhead, and they begin to sing. We have played at festivals in famous gardens and theatres, pubs and clubs, and village halls too. We have passed through this natural world, and clocked up many miles to bring our show to you. On our latest tour a thousand nights we have played, and there is a thousand more to go. And we take our pints and raise them up to the next one thousand shows. When we are travelling by road to our gigs, we pass gardens, mountains, seas and lakes and we stop off at a cafe to get a cup of tea and some cakes. We then travel on by road, pass animals, trees, plants and birds, yes it is a natural thing, and the birds fly by overhead, and they begin to sing. Roll up and take your ringside seats, in the arena in this park, for another crazy night. We hope you go home entertained, we are here to keep it light. So bring your hearty belly laughs, bring a thousand miles of smile, 
And if you go home feeling glad you came, it was worth all the while. When we are travelling by road to our gigs, we pass gardens, mountains, seas and lakes. And we stop off at a cafe to get a cup of tea and some cakes. We then travel on by road, past animals, trees, plants and birds. Yes, it is a natural world thing. And the birds fly by overhead and they begin to sing. We have faced the natural world horizon everywhere we would go. But we must remember the fact that the horizon is our home. As we come back to our homes after returning from all of our gigs, we hear the robins and the larks sing as they nestle in the trees above while perching on the twigs. When we come back home by road, we pass gardens, mountains, seas and lakes. And we stop off at a cafe to get a cup of tea and some cakes. We then travel to our homes by road past animals, trees, plants and birds. Yet it is a natural world thing and the birds fly by overhead and they begin to sing. Steve loved gigsing ride at the weekends After working hard all through the week Some of his nights are good and some of his nights are grand But every one of them they are unique Some nights for Steve are very tough And there are horror stories that he could tell About rides, rowdy crowds who come to his singing gigs and when Steve is singing, some people get drunk and look as if they come from hell. In pubs in rides, Steve sings his heart out and plays two sets of 45. But there are nights when Steve watches the clock, hoping he will get out alive. When Steve sang at ride club for working men, he was on from eight until quarter to ten. They threw custard pies and sausage rolls at Steve, and they talked over every song that he penned. But they were deathly quiet for bingo, and the meat raffle was drawn and Deirdre wins. But when she comes up to collect her prize, in a drunken state she falls over on her pins. She then staggered to her feet to collect her prize of offal and a pound of mint. But Steve kept on singing his island songs and other favourites including Purple Rain by Prince. Each nauseating second that Steve sang in ride was more painful than the first. But once Steve was done they shouted for more to get their money's worth and to quench their thirst. Steve played a nightmare gig at Wright Pierhead in an outdoor tent, where the football was showing on Sky Sports as you did arrive. It was showing on a massive screen on the stage behind, on the place where Steve was to be singing live. Knuckle-dragging blokes were watching the game, and they shouted to Steve, get out of the way you prat. As Steve was singing on the stage and trying hard not to block their view. And the bar ran out of beer and to make matters worse, Ride Saints football team were losing too. Steve wondered why they had booked him, but Steve saw the end of the match was in sight until a last-minute equaliser took it to extra time, and a fan punched Steve on the nose and then started a big fight. Steve stang at a wedding at Yelf's Hotel in Ride, 
but at the event there occurred a family feud. A punch-up broke out between the parents of the bride and groom, and Steve was only a background noise and was just an interlude. Then two bridesmaids started fighting, and the proceedings started to escalate, and one of the bridesmaids took a punch on the nose, and her red nose did not look so great. To calm things down, Steve started to sing an Adele song, and then the bride began to cry. She said, Steve, please don't sing an Adele song, for she is a singer whose songs that I hate. Steve said he had agreed to sing at the wedding, because the groom was his best friend. And Steve said it took a lot to make his friend the groom seem red. But the groom became very angry with the bridesmaid who were fighting, and he rushed over to them and crashed a chair over their heads. When Steve can't get a gigging ride, he goes out busking, and dreams of being Britain's got talent in front of Simon Cow. But last time he went out busking, four ladies pressed their red buttons, and all the dogs in ride started to howl. Dave Walliams passed him by and said, was his singing a comedy turn? But Steve said it was not and gave him a smack. Amanda Holden came up to him and gave him a big hug, when four geese passed him by and gave him a quack, quack, quack. On the streets of Ride you can often find Steve out singing, and he is a very well-known sight. But the parents rush their children home when they see him, because they are frightened their children will have a nightmare of fright. When Steve has been out singing to earn himself an honest bob, for a knackered old singer like Steve, it is a dead exhausting job. Now it is quite clear with Steve, and it is plain to all, he is not John Jones and never will be, because they throw pints not pants at Steve, when he is playing tough gigs, even when he does it for free. In pubs in rides, Steve sings his heart out, and plays two sets of forty-five. But there are nights when Steve watches the clock, hoping he will get out alive. Yes, there are nights when Steve watches the clock, hoping he will get out alive. I remember when around the back of Neto, Two children were playing innocent games. You and I were kids playing doctors and nurses. But since then you have gone downhill, and my life's never been quite the same. No, it is not, and it will never be. So look into my face, Donna Clegg, and remember just who you are. So Donna, go and leave me alone forevermore, for you now get your pleasure in the back of anyone's car. So where do you go to, my lovely, when you are alone in your bed? Tell me the parts that surround you, as I want to look inside your head. Yes, I do but not for nids. You talk like that you played Mandy Dingle, and you danced like a drunken Fred Astaire. Your clue clothes, they are all made by Kappa, and there's yesterday's soup in your hair. Yes, there is, and quite a lot. You live down on Pevensey Common, in a flat down Bruce Avenue way, and you prop up the bar 
in an Eastbourne Pierhead Tavern, where you once copped off with Darren Day. Yes, you did. So where do you go to, my lovely, when you are alone in your bed? I know all the smells that's around you would have made any man wish he were dead. Yes, they do. I have seen all your lengthy convictions that you got from Eastbourne Magistrate Court and your asbo for glassing a barman and the knocked off flat screen that you bought. When you go on your summer vacation to Ibiza at San Antonio Bay with your carefully designed crotchless swimsuit and you tan while all the blokes run away yes you will never see them for dust so where do you go to my lovely when you are alone in your bed i know all the smells that surround you would have any man wish he was dead yes they do by nightfall you are found down by an Eastbourne boozer with others who drink to forget and you drink your tenth Red Bull and vodka and moan about all of your debt yes you do your name it is heard in high places by the bouncers in all of Eastbourne's clubs as they drag you out while you are kicking and screaming after being barred from all of Eastbourne's pubs. Oh yes, pub watch, know your name. So where do you go to, my lovely? What goes on inside your head? On Thursday you are cashing your gyro to put on horses and dogs at bed Fred. But there is no way a horse called Eastbourne Pride is going to finish first. They say that when you got married, your hubby deserves a medal as big as a bin lid, because he has to put up with your farting in the bed you bought for four quid and how you kick off at your seven kids Chantel, Clamadia, Tyler and four others and some of them are thought to have been conceived with Bill, Bird and Harry who are your brothers I know where you are now my lovely when you are not frequenting Greg's I know now but trouble surrounds you so I don't want to get in your kegs yes I don't want to get in your kegs <laughs> A tender love story it went wrong There goes my heart beating Because you are the reason I am losing my sleep Please come back now And there goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I am still breathing I am hopeless now I would climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I have broken oh cause I need you to see that you are the reason there goes my hand shaking and you are the reason my heart keeps bleeding 
I need you now. If I could turn back the clock, I would make sure the light defeated the dark. I would spend every hour of every day keeping you safe. I would climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I have broken. Oh, cause I need you to see that you are the reason. I don't want to fight no more and I don't want to hide no more. I don't want to cry no more. Please come back as I need you to hold me. You are the reason and I need you a little closer now. I need to hold you tonight. I would climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I have broken. Oh, cause I need you to see that you are the reason.